So ignoring the title, uh, which I don't know if they can modify or edit, this is known as The Legend of Zelda Indigo. And I don't know what to expect. All I know is it's supposed to be about two hours. So I'm just going to mentally predict it's going to be four. And uh, if whatever we don't finish tonight, we will do a part two in the future. The video audio delay? Is the video audio delay bad for anybody else? Is there any other, uh, anybody else having video audio delay before we get this party rocking? Cool. Alright, that's all I needed to hear. So, just so you guys know, uh, this file right here was already in the game when I, uh, started it. And it, like, led to, like, this area, like, it seemed like I was in the middle of it. So, and then this was the one that I tested to make sure that it worked, but I made no progress, so let's just start over. All right, let's begin. Uh, I will play this for a bit, and I think it's going to be kind of fun to check this out with you guys. I figured it's perfect for Sunday stream, a weird Zelda mod. Like, what? I don't even know what the name means. Like, what is The Legend of Zelda Indigo? What is that? Nobody knows. I think it's going to be kind of fun. We're going to dive deep down into this, and then after that, we're going to start a brand new Sunday stream segment called Demo Disc. So that's going to be your Sunday stream. It's going to be a little bit more mild than what you're normally used to, but here we go. I am excited to jump on into this. And if you guys are wondering, no, this is not the mod where like Link like hires prostitutes and kills people in a butcher shop or something. That's a different one. Uh, I'll do that on a different Sunday stream. But just so you guys know, this is not that one. I don't know anything about this one. This was just like recommended to me in my YouTube thing. So I, I know even I know even less about this one than I do about that. But that's for a different Sunday chapter. That's Ingo, but close enough. There's no D in his name. So, this is all I checked out, and the first thing that I noticed was that, obviously, the character model's a little, little different, and uh, Link runs faster. At first, I thought it was an issue with the uh, emulation of it, but none of the other animations are like that. So, it seems like um, they purposely made the running animation faster, because that doesn't seem to be a glitch, because every other animation is... Uh, Normal. All right, from this point on, I've not seen anything. I didn't even realize that the fairy was purple. So this is all new now. All I did was run around and, like, open up the menu. Um, so from this point on, everything else is, is different. Technically, that would be tail, the purple one's tail. But, all right, I haven't even read this sign. So this is all new, starting right now. Thank you so much for playing this demo. Check the signs across the bridge for your right, to your right for more info. I didn't even realize, oh, wait a second. I didn't even realize that this is an area from Majora's Mask. Wait a second, this is the mount, this is Snowhead. Well, not Snowhead, but this is the mountain village in Majora's Mask. I didn't even notice that. But uh, I kind of like Link's character model. It kind of looks more like Twilight Princess-ish. And like I said, the running animation being faster, I found out is not a glitch. It's They actually purposely made Link run faster. So... This is The Legend of Zelda Indigo. Welcome to Sunday stream. Told you guys this is going to be weird, but good. Good weird. Trust me, I'll make it up for you guys next week. We'll do like nine hours of dreams or some shit. <laughs> All right. Decide if it's worth continuing with the project or not. If trying out a lot of different ideas and people like it, I would love to continue. Of course, if most people think it's a dud, I would not want to waste mine or anyone else's time. Please reach out to uh, on Discord with comments, complaints, suggestions, and bugs. Video recordings or streams especially. All right, cool. So I guess uh, go look for the Legend of Zelda Indigo Discord server if uh, you guys like this stream. Tip number... Yo, thanks for the sub! Thank you so much. This is my first time playing this. I am exploring it blind for Sunday stream with you guys. So thank you for the sub. I'll do the sub cover in a bit. Appreciate it. Link runs fastest with his equipment put away. Oh, this is the fastest form of non-glitch travel. Even faster than backwalking. So he only runs fast when he has no equipment on. You can press down on the D-pad to flip the C buttons over for another set of items. Boots and tunics can be equipped to C buttons just like regular items. Oh, wow! It's actually canonically tail. I just thought it happened to be another purple fairy. Tail has some insights about enemies. Many have specific weaknesses, so don't be afraid to ask him for advice. 
Okay, it actually is tail. That's very cool. I like that. I have a lot of some debugging stuff. Active this is the first release, and you may run into issues. Use them at your discretion to get out of a bind. Just explore if you really want. Oh, God, what is this? Uh, hold L and press the D-pad left to fly. I'm not, I'm not going to, like, break the game. I just want to see if this works. Oh, what the fuck did I do? What the fuck? How did... Now it now it feels like a Sunday stream. I should have read the rest of it. How does this make me fly though? Oh, D pad. Okay. Oh, oh god. Okay. We will mess around with this later. This this will be fun to mess around with uh after we actually play the game for real, so. Alright. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Now let's actually explore. I'm interested. Hey guys, this is already more fun than Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep bringing that up today, I promise. Wait, do I have any other items in my inventory? No. Alright. Are they in here, do you think? That was not what I thought was gonna happen. There was just a reset. Okay, so, uh, the two smithies. Where's the dragon in this? Yeah, there probably is a dragon. So, oh, I thought this was a path, but this does not seem to be a path. It is. Never mind. I don't know anything that I'm talking about. I thought there was another way to go over here, though. I am so fucking confused. Why does every loading zone take me back to that area? What if this is all the game is? No, because people said that this is two hours. There's nobody fuck around with this for two hours. If there's a dragon in this game, you'll gift us up. We're trying to find out why all the areas are bringing me back to the center. Oh, wait, don't you have a weapon? Dangerous monsters are ahead. Hmm. Could you knock some branches loose from one of the trees? It's better than nothing, maybe. Like by rolling into it. Oh, that's cute. It gives you uh, Deku sticks. That's cool. I like that. Thank you, Charlations. See if I remember any of that stuff. Integrated tutorial. All right, it looks like we're actually uh, in this shit now. Well, I don't really have a sword. I just have a Deku stick, but I never actually tried. Can you? I'm assuming you can injure tech types with a Deku stick. You can. Okay. That's cool. I can actually, like, defend myself at least. Where the hell are we? Okay, so. Immediately, the level design seems a little, uh, <laughs> um, I'm trying to be, no, like, the nicest way possible, a little archaic. This doesn't really feel much like a Zelda level. It feels like Link was transported into, like, a Gmod map or, like, a Far Cry map. My stick did break, but I got two more, so. Holy shit. Okay, he climbs faster, too. That's good. He climbs faster. It does kind of look like the uh, space world, like Alpha or Ungrateful. No, I'm great. I'm just, he said he wanted constructive criticism. I'm saying all the. Look at how many hearts we got. We can't even do a three-heart challenge. We got like 500 million. Wow, well, you guys are hated. I was just about to say, I think the HUD looks nice with the transparency. I think it looks better than the big, solid yellow. Oh, wait, hold up. There's the fucking... What the hell is this guy doing? Wow, what a wasted time that was. There's not even anything here. Who does that? What the fuck? This is more Sunday stream than I thought. Here I thought I was downloading like a cool Zelda game. I thought we were downloading like an actual like sick Zelda game. We're getting fucking trolled. What is going on here? What? That's it? What a waste of time. There's nothing even here, dumbass. Well, never mind. Looks like the curse of Sunday stream is true. Was that it or was there another path to go? I feel like we got tricked. We're getting bamboozled here. We should have made a segment called Curse Ocarina of Time ROM Hacks. That's what this is. Am I supposed to, like, jump off? We're just gonna <laughs> fucking go. This is... Okay. Is there... Okay, I guess... 
There's more stuff to go over here. Okay. Okay! False alarm. Obviously, this will be on the Milky Archives. If you guys miss any of it or you can't watch all of it tonight. But, hey, I think we all can agree that the live stream is where it's at. This is that Zelda count you got Zelda content you guys wanted before we get to the Twilight Princess Marathon next week. What the fuck? Is this just Hyrule Field or where am I? What the hell? Where the heck? I feel like we just found like a weird back room. Is this just like or is this this might be a whole, all different field, dude? This might be all new uh Hyrule Field. Give me one second. Um, I'm actually gonna change the background to be the more Zelda-like. I just think it looks better like this for when I play Zelda games. I don't know. Fits the fits the tone a little more, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, it looks like. That kind of looks like shit. Like, <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to... No, I'm, listen, this guy can do way better than I ever could. I'm just saying, like, that doesn't look like a very natural... Like, it's just like a big sheet of ice in the middle of the field. Uh, all right, whatever. Let's explore. Oh my god, is this an all-new theme? Okay, I like it, I like it. Oh, I like it! That's the place from near? Which one are you talking about? Why is that in the direction of Death Mountain, though? So this is an all-new Hyrule field that's, like, huge as shit for some reason. The copied city? Oh, God, I should've known. <laughs> Past this fence is Eyeglass Lake. It's pretty short, though. If I was able to jump just a little bit higher. Oh, sorry, I mean, keep out. You don't want to go in there. This area is not part of the demo. Well, I think we know what we have to do, chat. I know I- just- just shut up. Maybe I shouldn't. I was gonna do it anyway. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, I gotta see what's past this gate. I gotta see, okay? My curiosity's killing me. As soon as he said it's not part of the demo, I'm like, alright, well this is where all the juicy shit is, right? Anytime something's blocked off, you gotta go there. I know Chet's thinking it, too. Oh, what the fuck? Is he gonna be like, I told you not to come here, dickhead! Is he gonna be like, Undertale? <laughs> oh my god! Amazing! That's amazing! I love this! Holy shit! I love it! You just couldn't help yourself, could you? Fine, enjoy this preview of a new item I'm working on. All right, you know what? Just because he got me, remind me at the end and we'll, we'll come here later. I don't know what new item this is, but now that he got me, we'll, uh... Oh, wait, am I stuck here? Oh, fuck. Oh. Maybe this place will take me out. Maybe this will take me out. We'll check the item later. We'll check the item later. As that'll be like a last minute thing. Hopefully this doesn't take us to like the end of the game and we just skip the whole game. That'd be pretty shitty. Alright, no, we're back to the beginning. Okay, cool. That was amazing. He knew! He knew, dude! I love when games, like, know what the player's gonna do. Like, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? Alright, I will make sure to, uh, we'll save the item for, for the end. We'll save the new, because he said an all-new item he's working on, so that's gotta be kinda cool. Anybody wanna guess what it is? I don't even know what it would be. I have no idea. A gun? Alright. So that begs the question, chat. If we were not supposed to go there, where were we? Or where are we supposed to go? So. I'm just thinking, like, what item? Ninja? Yeah, I'm gonna say, like, something that makes Link invisible. Okay, there's, there's this. Holy... Where's all the music, dude? Oh, maybe it's because it's got to be daytime. Just like in the vanilla game. Like, if you if you go into an area, like, in between day and night, no music plays. Hmm. 
no, I guess there's just there's just no music in uh, the Lost Woods today, and the sky is really dark and gloomy. Who the hell are you? Why is everybody's like clothes slightly like darker green? Hi, Mister. See that light over there? It just appeared a few days ago. Uh, I walked into it once and got teleported somewhere strange. It really scared me, Mister. What do you think it is? What light? You, what light is she talking about? Oh, oh! There's so many places to go and so many things to explore. I just want a sword though, because it's driving me nuts that I can't cut the grass. You should have a sword before. Okay, well, okay. You should have a sword before visiting this area. Imagine a thick layer of vines you need to cut. Okay. This game's one step ahead of me at all times, Chet. I just wish it was music. It feels a little isolating. Kokiri Meadow Shop. Okay. What are you buying? Is that a Resident Evil 4 reference? Can adult Link even use this? You can just buy the boomerang for 150? My sister said she saw a spirit at the tomb. I told her to stay out, but do you think she saw the ancient Kokiri hero? Wait a second! Hold up. So, do you guys think we're not playing as the hero of time? Or do you think that they just don't realize that we're, we're the hero of time? I don't know. She saw a spirit at the tomb. I told her to stay out. Do you think she saw the ancient Kokiri hero? Maybe this is a different Link? I wouldn't say Twilight Princess Link, because that they wouldn't have Tattle here, but this could be a different Link or some... I don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter. But that's just weird dialogue. I'm glad that I talked to these characters. Are you here to visit the hero's tomb? Please be respect... Please be respectful, she... We're still alive... Never mind! This is a woman! We're still alive because of her... Oh my god, wait, are you talking about... Saria? Let me, let me read this now. Are they talking about Saria? That, oh, that's who they're talking about. Okay. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Because Link wasn't even Kokiri. He was Hylian and he was raised in the Kokiri forest. Okay. So that's interesting. It's weird because we played that other Zelda mod that had Saria in it as well. People really like Saria. Tomb of the Ancient Kokiri Hero. May her spirit watch over this final resting place. So, I'm a, they've got to be talking about Saria, right? And her tomb. Who are you? Are you here for the treasure? You, want, you aren't the first to try. If you see a spirit, just leave her alone, okay? Bruh. True. I mean, I'm not going to pretend that these games are canon. I obviously know that they're fan games, so like, and they're made by different people, so they're not going to like, have a coherent story like the actual Zelda games do, but still. Hey, sorry, it, sorry is cool. When I was a little kid, I thought sorry I was Link's girlfriend when I was like six. I don't even have a shield, dude, because I don't have any rupees. What the fuck? That's the smallest skittle ever! What the hell's going on, dude? Holy shit. Look at this little boy. No, I fucking forgot where I was. Also, why are we starting off in a maze? This is not strong level design. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh rupee, rupee, rupee. Rupee! Woohoo! Well, he actually hit me, but like, didn't do barely any damage. Holy shit, is this her tomb? What the fu- I, Oh, I thought there was like a puddle of blood on the floor, but it's like a red carpet. Uh, I'll go in here first. I thought there was blood in here. Sword, I'm guessing? Yep, this is, this is gonna be weird. Uh, Adult Link using the little tiny Kokiri sword. Oh my dear god, okay. 
I guess is what we're doing now. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? It's a mini papyrus? Who the fuck is this guy? With the green eye? Who are you, little munchkin man? A small foes? <laughs> Dude, I love this already. Huh, it's about Kokiri size. Wait, do you think? That's a little dark, so they're dead. Because it says that they're dead Kokiri. That's no one. And then they have. That's why they have green souls. I don't have a shield either to fight this dickhead. And I got the shortest range of all time with this little butter knife. Link literally like, just took a knife out the kitchen and said, Yeah, I'm just gonna start fighting like small ass guys. This is the 511 skeleton. Is that it? Wait, what happened? Why is it so dark outside now? What is going on? What the fuck? This is kind of scary, actually. We killed the spirit and now, like, the forest is dark. I don't like this. This is creepy, actually. How the hell did they do that? Did we just kill Saria? What if we found out that we just killed Sari and now the forest is cursed forever? Yeah, what if this game had like multiple endings? And then like, depending on what you do, there's like a good ending or the bad ending. I can barely see the bridges in front of me. But I am getting rupees for the shield, maybe? I guess I'll get the hell out of here. Yeah, the more people you kill, Link's eyes turn red. They're like, hey, you didn't uh, kill the spirit of Saria, did you? Like, no, what do you what do you mean? Why why would you think that? I think I have enough of their shield, right? Oh look who it is. I'll only sell you a limited stock, and I'm raising the price on whatever's left. Wait, are you serious? What the fuck? This was not 99 before I came back and now he's like What 450? What the hell? He raised all the prices? Hurry up, you're bad for business. Did we do something bad? What's wrong with you? Can't you see how little we have left? Our Deku tree died long ago. Without its protection, we are mortal. Like you, that hero gave her life to keep us safe. Wait, what we did? We should not have done that! We killed Saria? Oh no, we were right, that was her! Oh shit, this is a bad ending. Everybody's pissed because we just killed Saria. Well, why was she attacking us? That's bullshit. She came after us with a floaty. She was like papyrus. Wouldn't she talk it out? You killed her? Why, mister? Just leave us alone. Dude, I didn't even know that was her. Dude, this... What the fuck? I'm pissed. I'm out of here, dude. I didn't even know I got tricked. I was framed. What about you? You gonna be pissed off too? Oh, it's you. I could forgive stealing the sword, but why destroy her? Was it worth it? Walk in that light over there. Or don't. I don't care. Just leave. Bruh, I swear to God, I didn't know that was her. That didn't even look like her. That was a male skeleton. <laughs> I'm so pissed. I'm going this way. Is this the Deku tree? What are we gonna kill him to? He's already fucking dead. This is our great Deku tree. Tattle and I haven't been back in a long, long time after it died. She must have come here looking for something, don't you think? Let's head inside. Maybe my sister is still here, or at least a clue. Oh, so we're getting some story. We're looking for, uh, we're looking for Tattle. Why is the Deku tree so tall? What the hell was he using? Never that like, long, long ass head. We're looking for Tattle. And now there's like a little pond here or some shit. Maybe I should go in the light. I never know where to go in these games. Like, where should I go? Yeah, what kind of tree keeps growing after it dies? And here comes all the fucking tree experts in chat. They're like, well, actually, Zach, there are some trees that still grow even though they're dead. I'm like, all right, dude. Maybe I should go in the light. I don't know where to go. I'm gonna go in the light. I was just seeing if there's any, like, secrets. Well, technically, Saria dies in 
all the timelines, right? Eventually. She dies in the downfall. She becomes a sage in the adult timeline, but then being a sage is pretty much the same thing as being dead because you're just bound to the sacred realm forever. Uh, and then what happens to her in the child timeline? Nothing? Is this the child timeline? That's the most likely. No, I was... I just... I know that I'm supposed to go inside the tree. I just want to see what this light's about first. Maybe I shouldn't do this next, but I, I don't know. The light's calling to me first. I could be doing things in the wrong order. I have no idea. Okay, I have... What the fuck is this? The next dungeon in the demo will be the fifth or sixth dungeon in the final game. You will need more items to tackle it. The short gauntlet will provide you all the items a player should have before entering the dungeon. Okay, so I am definitely not supposed to be here yet. Okay, noted. Alright, inside the Deku tree we go. Wait, what? Oh, this is the wrong way. I wonder, though, was there any way to prevent killing Saria? Could we have just left and, like, nothing bad would have happened? Or, like, was that something that the player was forced to do? I don't know. So far, this is really cool. I'm enjoying this, Chad. I I'm having a lot of fun playing this today. Alright. Let's go check the Deku tree out. Okay, so this is already completely different. I see. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Deppery. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'm supposed to have a bow or something because... Oh, there's a boss door. Okay. Never mind. I'm not supposed to have a bow because I'm probably getting a bow in this dungeon. Because that's how I'm going to get the boss key. Remember that one dungeon from the missing link that we were in for like two hours because I was lost? Looks like the water current's really strong. Try not to fall in. Alright. And don't forget, chat, remind me... Remind me that I need to check out that item before I end the stream today. He pulls shit so damn fast. Oh god, okay. I just don't understand why sorry a spirit would attack us in the first place. What? Get the fuck out of here. It's also weird that the game starts you off with so many hearts. That I was sorry as pet spider. I'm assuming I was supposed to like pull the block or something? Because I couldn't push it. I, if you guys were wondering, I tried pushing the block twice, it did not push. Oh, duh. It just, it just moved it enough to where I can jump over here. Sweet. And is this the bow? Nope. Key. So the real question, Chet. Is the boss a new boss or is it a reused Goma? That's the real question. Do you guys think that the boss is something different? I'm, just, I'm not asking if it's like they made a whole new boss that we've never seen before. I think that's a little bit... That's expecting a lot. I'm saying, do you think that the boss of this is Goma or something else? What the hell? I didn't even see this area. Oh my god, this is already way larger than I thought it was going to be. Also, what the fuck am I also... Oh wait, can I make it over here? I was like, are we getting the, uh, are we getting the hover boots too? But it was not as far as I thought it was. 
think it's gonna be something else? It's gonna be one big, huge papyrus. Okay. What the... What the fuck? Oh, that's a big... An ancient Deku Baba? It's huge, be careful. How long has it been growing down here? Get up close and cut the stem. What the hell? That's... Okay. A big-ass Deku Baba. Beating his ass, though. Yeah, obviously this game takes place after Majora's Mask because all the stuff that happened in Ocarina of Time has happened for a while. Like, Saria is known as the Ancient Sage. The Deku Tree has been dead for a lot longer because it's, like, more hollowed out. So, this is obviously quite some time has passed. So many branching pathways, I'm like, lost. Oh, hell no. Oh. Are they all? Okay, just one of them is normal. Fuck. That, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure what's going on here. I'm still not sure if we're playing as the Hero of Time or not. I don't really know. I'm assuming because why would Tattle and Tail have anything to do with this Link if it wasn't related? But I'm just, I am still kind of curious. Can this guy stop fucking around so I can push this on the Switch, please? Well, yeah, I mean, the fact that, like, Tattle and Tail are here, I don't know. Link's grandson? It's possible. Okay. Very interesting. I know Nintendo would never do it. I know people like... Why couldn't it be the child timeline, Link? Well, it just seems like more time has passed than it would take that if he just grew up. Like, they're, they're talking to Saria like she's ancient, and like that's an ancient Deku Baba. Usually you don't use the term ancient to describe something that's only like 10, 20 years difference. He doesn't look that old. Assuming, let's say at the oldest he was 30, that would only be like 15 years after Majora's Mask. 15, 18, 15, 18 years after Majora's Mask. It just, like, yeah, that's all. It's just like the way that they're talking feels like it's been longer, that's all. Because, like, Kokiri Forest was known... They were calling it Kokiri Meadow, and... I don't know, it just seemed weirder. <laughs> Only the creator knows the true story. Yeah, that's pretty fun so far. I, again, no disrespect to people that make Mario mods, but, uh, because I, I couldn't do it. And some of those people are insanely talented. I don't have a shield still, though. Maybe I don't need one. Um, no. But I think that it's a lot easier to make, like, a fan-made Mario game than it is to make a fan-made Zelda game. Mostly because, like, Mario at its core is a platformer, which lends itself to more, like, simplistic, um, gameplay. It's just, like, you know what to do when you play a Mario game find the stars or get to the end of the level. You jump, punch, and dodge stuff. With Zelda, especially when it comes to dungeons, you need to, like, have a certain type of brain to know what makes a good dungeon. Like, how much backtracking. You need to have this vision of the level and see how easy it is and how fun it is to actually traverse as opposed to just, like, platforming challenges. Um, and I, I, again, I'm not saying that, like, making Mario games is easier. I'm just saying from a like, if you're making levels, it's probably easier to make a Mario level than it is to make a Zelda level fun, anyway. Just because, like, I feel like if... I, I feel like I could envision a really good Mario level with my head. Like, obviously, I don't know how to code. But, like, I think I could, like, in theory, come, out, come up with an amazing Mario level. But I think it would take a lot more brain energy to come up with a really good Zelda dungeon, you know?
Holy shit, dude. Some of those guys were so small. So what's this one? A giant one? A gigantula? How big can these get? That's what I was wondering, Tail. Either it's like small or it's like gigantic. What? I feel like I'm getting... What the fuck? They do so much damage. I feel like I'm getting screwed over, dude. They go so quick. There, dumbass. Give me some hearts. I need some hearts. Yeah, I see some hearts. Unless that's a red rupee. You know, it's hearts. Let's go. Wow, one heart and I lost like six. What a good trade-off. What's up, Chris? Welcome to Sunday stream. We're playing the Legend of Zelda Indigo. This is the Legend of Zelda Indigo. <laughs> Uh, great. I have no, like, ranged things to deal with these things, so I just gotta, like, crawl, and hopefully they don't see me. Oh, dear God, no, 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 no. He's gonna see me. I fucking knew it. I'm fucked. Oh, I was so close. Are you serious? I was so close. That spider's harder than Goma? Maybe for, like, yeah, like a Zelda, uh, veteran Zelda fan who's, like, fought Goma one billion times. Well, it's because I wasn't used to, like, the animation going faster. Like, he was turning around quicker, so I, my timing was off. It's fine. Hey, this is actually for the best, chat. I'm getting more hearts now. No, I'm fine. This is actually, it all worked out, because, well, I, I thought I was going to continue to get more hearts in the grass, but I guess not. This guy's back. I'm not worried about him right now. Definitely not that way. I don't know. I'm just checking it out. I don't even... We're trying to figure out what the story is. Right. I feel like he goes too fast. Dude. This is kind of difficult. Channels we... Well, hey. I'm just happy Twitch is actually promoting my stream. So I'm not really going to complain. But it is kind of weird that... I'm under the channels we think you'd like category. I wish I knew, like, their line of vision or whatever. Quit looking in this direction, dickhead. Oh, no, he sees me still! What the fuck? No, dude, I'm always so close to the fucking edge. Why are they making me do this when I have no means of being able to uh, attack them? I'm surprised that this runs decently well. Yo, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, happy September. Enjoy your emotes. Welcome to the Milky Finishers. We stream mostly Zelda and Mario games here on the channel. We usually do like Legend of Zelda marathons, challenges, or uh, checking out whatever the heck this is. But out there, fun. Fellow subs, can you show some of the uh, Zelda related emotes that we have? We have Prince Sidon from Breath of the Wild, Happy Mass Salesman, Bomb Chew Girl. All that good stuff. All right. Can I actually get past this fucking guy now? I don't understand, like, how to get around this guy. He, he doesn't move, like, in a perfectly circular pattern. Oh, he's gonna be just about to get the turns around, dude. This guy's a asshole. Yeah, I, uh... I'm actually, next week, I'm doing 12 hours of Twilight Princess. We're doing a deep dive, three heart challenge, which means we're never going to upgrade our health the entire game. I'm doing a 12 hour Twilight Princess deep dive marathon. Turn more to the left one more time. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we're good now. Oh, he's going to fucking see me. 
Why do you go, 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 no? There's, I don't think there's any fucking way. There's no fucking way. I keep dying the same fucking way every time. Am I supposed to have like a bow or something at this point? Did I pass up a room? I'm so excited to get back into Twilight Princess. Even more so that Nintendo didn't announce it for uh, Switch. Did I come from here? Wait a second. Hold up. This is a different area? Where is this? A treasure chest? Can I burn this? No, that was not part of the demo. He said that was a bonus thing he's working on. Was I? I don't even remember how I got here. Oh, now I do. No, okay. I remember where I'm at now. Um. But yeah, anyways, ever since Nintendo didn't announce Wind Waker Twilight Princess coming to Switch, I was like, dude, I just want to play it even more now. I hear a torch, but... Whatever. So I'm very excited. There's a lot of amazing moments in that game. Whatever. Jokes on the Scatullas because I just keep getting stronger. I just have all, almost all my health back now. All the times I've fallen down. I guess the torch sound effect was coming from this room. Alright, am I blind? Is there like something else? Some other path? Can I like roll into the wall and knock this dickhead off the thing? I like just get past this guy and not have to worry about the other guy. I'm gonna see. Oh, this is stressful. I'll go to the right. No, stop going this way. There. Uh, I don't know. I think I might be fucked. Okay, never mind. That was the right path to go. I was a dumbass. I thought that the other way would have been easier, but nope, that one was the easier path. Oh, leave me move. Move down. Although, not to criticize this guy's lore, what the fuck? Is this the Deku Tree's eyeballs? Where the, what the hell, we're on the outside of it now? Um, not to criticize the lore, but like, why would the inside of the Deku Tree be vastly different? But, oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I can take my revenge on those guys now. What do you say we take the quick way down? There's a pond right beneath us. Let's dive in. I'm way ahead of you. Uh, way ahead of you, Tyler. What the hell? We're really high up. Oh my god, I'm not so sure now. At first, we're gonna jump into the pond. This is fucking huge ass jump. All right, Link. Whatever. Try force of courage and all that. Woohoo! That. It wasn't deep enough, dumbass tattle. Whoops, I thought it was going to be deeper. We just lost all of our health, you jackass. <laughs> dude, this game's dialogue is funny, dude. I feel like I'm playing Undertale. Like, I feel like Toby Fox made this shit. He's like, well, whoops, I thought it would be a little bit more shallow. This game has, like, unlimited... Or this stream has, like, unlimited clip potential with all this game's dialogue. Dude, I just had, I had so much shit. Tattle's a dumbass. He's like, yeah, you should be able to jump down. Let's take the quick way. Oh, shit, my bad, Link. You busted your every fucking bone in your body. Great. Thanks, bro. Wait, is that going here? I did. Right. So I just have to get the boss key, right? And then we can just fight the boss. All right, I'm going to do a channel pull. Please, guys, it's just channel points. If you have any integrity, don't cheat. Don't cheat. It's just for fun. We're because I, I haven't played this. Um, I we're predicting whether or not the boss is going to be Goma or something else. If it's literally anything else, the people that pick anything else will win. Because we're about to see, and I haven't seen, so 
I'm only giving you guys 30 seconds to vote so nobody can cheat and look it up. I don't know either. either. Who will the boss of this dungeon be? Because we're about to see them soon. So you guys got 30 seconds to place your, place your bets. Alright, the poll is now closed. That was a short one. I wanted to make sure you guys couldn't cheat and look it up. So it's over, and we're gonna find out right now what the boss is. I don't even know. I just saw this boss door, and I've been wondering. Wait, oh, these are some cool-looking jars. Oh, I like this. I, I tried to make it short so nobody could cheat. All right, let's find out. I don't know. Let's see what the boss is. This looks just like Goma. Uh oh. Is this? Are, are we gonna get jabated? What is this? We don't know yet. What are you? Are you just Goma? Yep. That's just Goma, damn! You guys got debated. It's just a purple Goma. I wasn't so sure. It's just purple Goma. Wow. I didn't know. All right, well, there you guys go. Channel points. If you called it, Ludwig, you should have uh, placed uh, some channel points bets. You would have won a hell of a lot of points, Sam. Also, we're at 83 subs, by the way, guys. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. We're so close to our sub goal. So close to the sub goal. Um, where's my, where's my thing? I gotta update the sub counter. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, you were in the vast minority. All right, let's beat Google's ass. She looks a lot larger, even though we're adult Link. Oh, fuck. I'm still pissed I don't have a shield. It really is just Goma, but they made her even larger. Right, I gotta kill these eggs before they're before they're born, or else they're gonna be a pain in my ass. If you kill the eggs before they're born, they die in one hit. Man, this, uh, game kind of lagged for that fight. So this game has to be longer than this because we're blazing through it. I feel, unless everybody's just slower than dirt. And we don't need a part two. Run! Run, dumbass! Is the game called Legend of Zelda Indigo because Goma was Indigo? Dun, 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 dun. I feel like we had enough heart containers, but why, why not? Okay. Not gonna lie, I thought that there was gonna be something to kind of tell me where I need to go next. Uh, okay. Is something gonna happen in Kokiri Forest? Cause I, I'm just kind of lost now. Do you guys forgive me? I killed Saria, but I also killed Goma again. So are we good? I didn't climb the vine wall with the Skatulas. What are you talking about? 
What? No, I already did that. I did that already. I didn't. I just snuck past him. I'm confused. Yeah, I got past him. Do I have enough rupees, or do they? Dude, he's not even. I'm never gonna be able to buy this. Oh, I actually, I'm close. Shit. Okay, hold up. Are there rupees in here? I just need eight more rupees. Maybe there's something I can do with the bow in the overworld? There's a huge overworld for some reason. Oh my god, there's actually Hyrule Castle. Well, I don't even know if Lon Lon Ranch is in this. Because everything's, like, all different. This... Everything's, like, not even... Similar at all, so I don't know if Lon Lon Ranch even exists. Like... Who is this? That... Is that I'm assuming that's Gerudo Desert? Who put this hunts up? I wanted to visit the beach today! I don't want to get trapped, but remind me to use glitches to break past so we can go to the beach. But I'm too far now that I don't want to soft lock. That is a huge ass fence. This is this is not even Hyrule Castle. This is Lena City, the last great settlement. This side of the scar? I was on my way to do some shopping, but the gate attendant isn't here. I hope my children are alright. Looks like we'll be waiting a while. What the fuck? Yeah, but what if I get tricked or what if I get stuck? That's fine. If I get stuck, you guys are all getting banned. I don't think you guys listen to me. Oh shit! Yo, Robot Unicorn, thank you for the gifted subs, dude! We got five gifted, boy! Happy Sunday stream! All right, come on, Link. Link's like, bro, you see this? Link's taking a selfie, dude. Oh, it just takes me to the same loading zone, dude. Are you serious? Okay, so all the all the other places just took me out. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Holy shit, I'll take the sub counter once they're all done. Okay, so they all take me to the same area. Should have seen that coming, to be honest. Uh, just for the sake of things, I will check, though, past Lena City or whatever the hell it was called. We'll check that out. He said that there's a mysterious item he's working on in the chest, but I said that I was going to save that for later. He said it's not a part of the demo, but you could still mess around with it. But I figured that would be a fun thing to wait till the end to do. I feel like I'm doing all this for nothing because that place is going to take me to the same area I just was. Oh. Alright, let me update the sub counter now. What are we at? 88 subs! Oh shit, okay. We're really close to our goal now. We're really close to our goal. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. I appreciate it. If you were one of the lucky people to uh, receive the gifted sub, make sure you say thanks. Look at all these blocked off areas. This gate leads to Horon Village. The scar cut right through it. We built the gate soon after. Trust me, you don't want to go in there. This gate stay enclosed for our own protection. Hey, Myth! Thank you for the gifted sub! Thank you, thank you! You guys are too kind. Happy Sunday stream. Hold it. And this is just the same area that I'm not checking out any more fences. Alright, it's all the same. It's all the same area. 
Fine, you guys want to see the item now, you impatient assholes? You guys want to see the item now? Thank you so much for the gifted sub, Myth. I really appreciate that. That brings us up to 89. We're one sub away. And there we go! Shit, we hit 90 subs! Oh shit, okay, well, it looks like I gotta do, next week I have to do the, probably, maybe not even next week, maybe in just like a few days, I gotta do the sleep stream before the end of this month. Alright. I went into the light. Oh, you're right! I'm so fucking dumb. Now that we have the bow, we can go into that dungeon. I'm not lost after all. I'm not lost after all. Uh... That's what we got to do. Hold up, though. I got I to gotta change for September. I got to change uh, the commands to our newest sub goal because we broke the next one. That was awesome. Holy shit, guys. We demolished the goal. I got to get to the next goal. Let me just make it really quick. Uh, but yeah, I'll be doing the sleep stream before the end of this month. So we got to start cracking down on some of this stuff. Give me a second here. All right, bada boom, bada bing. 95 subs. All right, the sub goal is now uh, updated. Thank you guys so much. You guys are insane. And the next sub goal is 95 subs. Because if we get up to 95 subs, we get another emote slot. So, uh, uh, you guys will get a brand new emote. We already have a lot of good emotes. And if uh, we're five subs away from you guys getting another emote added to the fucking permanent list. So, cool stuff. So close to, uh... The next email. All right, but anyways, let's get the hell out of here. And we have till the end of the month. Which is crazy, because we just got an emote, too. We just got the, uh, the Milky Finisher K. Only if there's a dragon? Well, I gotta keep playing and see if there's a dragon. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, better than using public transportation. Right. So yeah, I'm a dumbass. Now that we have the bow, I get to go into the beam of light and we can check out a new dungeon. I do kind of wish that there was a town because I really like seeing towns and NPCs. Uh, but I guess a back-to-back -back dungeon isn't that bad. Oh, wait, I promised. Oh, my God, I'm so dumb. I promised I was going to show you guys the item. Oh, well, I guess we'll wait later. I was going to show you guys the item, but then I forgot about it. We were talking about the sub goal. Whoops. All right. Well, whatever. We're in a new dungeon now. And now that we have the bow, we can open the door. That's what I was forgetting. Whoa. I was like, what are those? Those are just style childs. What does Tail have to say about the style childs? Blades and arrows will bounce off their hardened bones. Use heavy weapons or explosives to beat it. Wait, what? What? You can't use your sword against these guys? Okay, interesting. Can I stop locking on? Nice. Now we can kill the skeletons with a Megaton Hammer. Get ready to die, skeletons. Bitch! So, a lot of this is just the Guru of Training Grounds. But I am happy that, like, Zelda modding and hacking is getting, like, easier for people to use so that we're going to start to see a lot more of, a lot more stuff like this. It won't just be, like, one every five years comes out of the woodwork. Seems like we're going to start to get more. You're right, I can't afford the shield. You're right, you're right. Should I go back and get the shield now? I probably should, right? Maybe not. Whoops, that was stupid of me. 
Boom! Kobe, let's go. Fuck it, we don't need no shield around here. Let's just keep going deeper into the dungeon. See, like, everything's kind of, like, remixed and weird. <gasps> Whoa, it's a purple bomb chew. What's a remote bomb chew? Oh, you get to decide when it detonates. I'm surprised that that was actually not a thing in the, uh, vanilla game. Holy fucking Jesus Christ! That scared the fuck out of me, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> fuck off! What the fuck was that? Oh my god, dude! That was so gosh damn scary! <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? That guy was running! That motherfucker was booking it towards me. I gotta take a sip of water after that. I scared the shit out. That was like an SCP. What the fuck was that? Oh, I hate it. Oh my god, am I just dead now? That was actually scary. That was like something that comes at you in the back rooms. What is it, just a white re-dead? What the fuck? This is crazy. What the hell, man? I was like trying to think about the bomb chew, and this motherfucker's coming at me like at 500 miles an hour. Ah, damn, dude. Now I'm now I'm on edge forever. You just never know when one of those dickheads is gonna be wrangling around the corner. Great. Well, that's something I just have to worry about now. That's also kind of an ingenious idea that I'm surprised the Nintendo team or the Zelda team never did like what if re-deads were fast that is a level of horror I never knew I needed now I'm so nervous of any fucking time leak turned the corner dude oh duh bomb chew I was like what am I supposed to do here what the fuck? oh I already cleared it Fuck the bomb to it. What door did it just open? The inclusion of those enemies literally was it just this one? The inclusion of those enemies turned this into a horror game. And now I'm just expecting them to be around every corner, and now I'm pissed. I'm just expecting them. I should have used Tattle to see what they what are or Tail to see what he said about those. the fuck? You get the rock's feather from, uh, Link's Awakening? What? You just, can you just jump now? Whoa. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. It just gives you a double jump like in the 2D games. Whoa, I love this. Uh, except now, what, what do I do? Fuck. Can I just like... Can't get up that way. Uh... I'm like, what? I'm confused. I feel lighter already. Yeah, the, the rock's feather. That is such a cool implication to add this into a 3D Zelda game. Giving Link, like, the ability of, like, a double jump. Uh, is there something I'm, like, overlooking here? Do you guys think I need to, like, use a bomb chew or something? Or do you think that this is, like, purposely blocked off? But then, was there any other places I could go? I'm just gonna use a bomb chew. I used the rock's feather, I swear on my mama I did shit. I'm just a little bit confused. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm almost dead. Was there a different place to go? Is that guy gonna be back? 
Dude, I don't want this guy to be back. Oh, you're a genius. The Megaton Hammer might actually, yeah, destroy that. Well, hold up. Are there hearts in here? No. I just noticed that the hearts are, yeah, it's not making the beeping a sound, even though my health is low. Yeah, I, I forgot about the Megaton Hammer. Hold up. If not, I'm dead because I don't know any way back. Uh, I guess I could, no, I could try that a normal bomb too. No. Damn, what the hell? Is there anything to the left or the right? No? The double jump is cool, yeah. I, uh, well, this is a Zelda game. If, if I was supposed to bomb it, it would have a crack in it. That's just like, that's like Zelda game 101. If you can bomb something, it's got a crack in it. Well, take me sweet death. Woo! Huh. Can I double jump up? I was trying. I, I just don't know how I'd be able to do that. I, I used it twice, but it wasn't like, you know. Uh, actually, now that I have got kicked out, might as well buy the shield, right? Because I have enough rupees for it, so might as well get the shield while I'm here. Woohoo! Look who it is. I'm telling you, I didn't mean to kill her, all right? It feels so cursed, though, having Link use the Kokiri sword and Deku shield as an adult. But... That's another thing I could try. Yeah, yeah, I could try that, too. That looks... I don't know. It doesn't look right. I don't like it. It looks really weird. I also don't know if there was like another door I could go in. That, I still can't get over that white red dead dude. What the hell were they thinking with that shit? That shit was demonic. There's nowhere else. Can I see him from over here? Dude, he, he came out of fucking nowhere, bro. That motherfucker came out. Well, he's. I, is there any way to avoid him, dude? Or is he just gonna freak me up? I'm booking it. Fuck this. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what the fuck, dude? He's coming, boy. What's Tail have to say about him? Where'd he go? What the fuck? Where'd he go? I'm just trying to fucking see what he fucking... I want to... God damn, he's so fast. Holy shit. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you should have seen my reaction the first time. It did not let me lock on, by the way. I was trying. That shit did... It did not let me lock on. I tried. Yeah, he takes a load of health. I already shot the eyeball. It's still shot. All right, Chad, let's start brainstorming. Something. Is there something with the rock's feather that, like, is there a double jump that I don't know about? Like, I'm... You do not get that much hype. I have no idea, really, what the story is. Uh, it seems like it takes place after Ocarina and Majora, because we're talking to Tail, who was one of the fairies in Majora's Mask. All right, Chad. Is there, like, a switch or something that would lower... That would lower that wall? I'll, I'll do Charlation's idea of hammering the central pillar first, actually. No. That was a good idea, but... No. It's gotta be something to do with this feather, because we just got it. We literally just got this feather. And it's asking us to, like, do a puzzle, unless that's it, right? Like... This can't be the end. I mean, I know I can always just fly over it. But... 
Like, there's no way I have any height off that. Is that a crack on the other side of the wall? No. Super weird, chat. Super, super weird. No, that's what I, that was my first thing to try. It doesn't let me use it multiple times. Like, I thought I could, like, chain it together, but once you do one, it doesn't allow you to do it again until the animation's completed. Unless... Well, that doesn't work. Huh. And I'm seeing literally nothing in this room. I mean, I guess I could cheat, but I feel like I'm just being dumb. Whoa, stop it! But I can't think of what to do. Because I'm not seeing any cracks in the walls or anything. Anything to use a bomb chew on or rock's feather. Did it say? You know what? Let's go get that mystery item. I know that the guy said that it's not going to pertain to anything that you actually need to do, but still. I feel like I'm not using this right. See, like, it fades away, so I can't... You, there is no such thing as a double jump for it. Oh, what about that? Do you guys think that would have worked? A backflip into Rock's Feather and then you think, oh, hold up, I gotta try that right now. A backflip into the Rock's Feather maybe would have been high enough for him to like ledge grab onto it? I don't fucking know. That's the only idea that I have right now. So that seems like kind of an awkward movement to have the player do. Like, like, no, you don't get that much height. That wall is way higher, right? Dude, I'm gonna have to walk past this guy again, dude. I hate this guy. Never mind, I dodged him. Let's go, dude. Alright, I don't know. Oh my god, I'm a genius! Let's go! It actually worked. The backflip into Rock's Feather gives you enough height to ledge grab. Let's go! Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I, that has to be the intended way. I can't think of any other way. I was just about to, like, leave it. I was just about to cheat, too. Alright. That's pretty cool. Hi, right, cool. Moving on. Iron boots. Sweet. No, chat. I'm not going to tell the Iron Boot story today. Sorry. Oops. Oh, I forgot that you can have, uh... You can switch loadouts. I thought, right? No? Can you not do that? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you hold down the trigger and press down on the D-pad, you can add more, um... More items to, uh... Your inventory. Oh, I thought it said you could add them to the C buttons. Well, never mind. I guess I'm an idiot. Never mind. What button was it again? There we go. What if I fell down here and then there was just four white re-deads that came from every direction? That was... I tried. The water bomb bag? This, this is like Twilight Princess. 
These bombs don't extinguish when submerged in water. All right, sweet. Boop. I guess I just wasn't hit the right button. I lied. They are attached to the C button. I swear on my life I was trying it before and it would not let me, but okay. <laughs> Fucking white redead shit. Yeah, he was not the smart, smartest bald in the shack, but he's a pretty smart guy now. The items in this room are all technically optional slash missable. So feel free to skip them if you want. Just take them. Of course I'm going to take them. There's a lot of items. Oh my gosh, okay. It looks like we're going to smorgasbord as shit. Well, I'm immediately equipping this because I'm so sick of having a little boy's shield when I'm a big fucking grown ass man. So immediately let's put this on. The game already feels 20 times better. <laughs> What is this? The boomerang. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Bottle. Yeah, right. I, I wasted all those rupees. I don't really think there's anything else to buy. You're right. We still made a profit. We wasted 99, but we saved 450, so... We still came out on top. Holy shit, Farrower's Wind. Tell me the last one's Din's Fire. I love Din's Fire. We actually got magic out of that, too. Come on, show me Din's Fire. I feel like I'm playing a randomizer. Oh, it's like a broken... Damn, this, this really is Tears of the Kingdom, dude. Link's got a broken Master Sword. I haven't made a model for this yet, but there will be a better one in the final game. All right. I'll take his word for it. Oh, that, never mind. It's a full-size one. Well, I'm glad as fuck we opened these treasure chests. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm a dumbass. I didn't realize that the floor was gone at that point in time. All right. Woohoo! Shit is this? You've collected several items by now, and I can yeah. I, I forget that I can switch over the slots if I wanted to. I always forget the button for that. There we go. Is that a song? I don't even. Oh, am I going to get the ocarina? And then I can play a song. I was just gonna say, do I even have the ocarina? That's probably what's in here. That's, wow, that was not on my bingo card. I was like, is it gonna be the fairy ocarina or the ocarina of time? Nope, it's the, it's Kiki's Piccolo. Well, never mind. I fucking I did that, never guessed that. I sure hope I replace this filler text by the time the demo releases. It'd be very embarrassing. I definitely would not have expected a uh, Kiki's Piccolo in, in the things. Holy shit. Whoops, I fucked that up. And what's the song of healing? What is it? What's what's the Bulgaro fire? There we go. I was thinking, I was like, what's the Bulgaro fire? I love that song. Alright. 
A down A, right down A. Right. I don't like how the A button is green, though, alright? I gotta say. So I'm a purist. Wow, what does that fucking say? Warp to Skyloft? What the fuck? Oh, it's, yeah, sure. This is Tears of the Kingdom. Damn, dude. Skyloft Ruins. Try jumping off. Uh, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Let's try it. Oh, hold on. Where's my... Where's my rocks feather? Sayonara! Woo! It is Tears of the Kingdom! Guys of the Dragon in a game! Holy shit. You fall out of the fucking sky! <laughs> What? Holy cow, that was sick. Well. We got Skyloft uh, ruins. We've got the mysterious item. Chets? I didn't double jump, you're right. I think this is where we will leave off. And if we want to go to Skyloft, we're going to have to do part two. Uh, next Sunday stream, we'll do part two, but... Uh, this is about as long as I wanted to stream this to move on to the next segment. But, uh, damn, that was, that was good. And you'll have to tune in when I play part two! Nope, chest item will be part two. Chest item will be part two. But, uh, that was, uh, The Legend of Zelda Indigo.